we are on a highway to climate hell with our foot still on the accelerator. It was one of the most blunt statements heard throughout 2022. The United Nations Secretary General opening November's COP27 climate summit with a call for immediate action. Humanity has a choice, cooperate or perish. It is either a climate solidarity pact or a collective suicide pact. Those urging rapid climate action say humans will need to make serious changes to how we live. And that could even include the homes we live in. It looks like a traditional house. There's nothing that would scream energy efficiency uh, at all. This relatively normal looking Vancouver home has been standing for more than a year. The designers say it provides a model of what future sustainable housing could look like. We basically have a home that's completely wrapped in insulation. And so underneath the home, we have uh, 12 inches of insulation under the entire uh, raft slab. There's no basement here. And that insulation uh, also runs up on the exterior of the building. The home has been classified as net zero when it comes to emissions, thanks in large part to fiberglass windows and doors. No natural gas is used and solar panels on the roof provide most of the electricity. The house also provides a shield from many of the effects of climate change. So this home is resilient in a changing climate. So as the world warms, this home will continue to be comfor comfortable. And in uh, Canada, increasingly, we've gotten smoke events from forest fires. Uh, this home has a very high level of filtration. The high filtration also eliminates the need to spend hundreds of dollars per year heating or cooling the home. You'll notice uh, the heat pumps there as well. We have um, one for uh, a bit of uh, heating and cooling in the house, which is very minimal because of how energy efficient the home is. And then the other heat pump is a sand and uh, heat pump, which uh, produces the hot water for the home. It's a place of refuge um, as the world warms and as we have more smoke events and more pollution. Uh, this home provides clean air and a comfortable uh, living environment. Uh, whereas many homes will need to be adapted to be able to provide the same. Those who built and designed the net zero home say it costs about 5% more than building a standard house. Although most of those homes would typically have a basement. For City News, I'm Faiza Amin.